Hey, I'm Alex Jessmore. Uh, I am a PGY3 R2. I'm Chris Wagner. Um, I'm one of the R2 or PGY3 residents. I'm Greg Motskis. I'm originally from Utah. I'm a current PGY2 year in the radiology residency program here in Peoria. So in the radiology program, uh, our days normally run from about seven to five. Um, during that time, we have, uh, we're on a certain rotation, so specifically maybe body CT or neurology, uh, neuroradiology or nuclear medicine, or whatever rotation you're on. As a resident, it's always great to get here early at 7 a.m., have an hour to study by myself before we start the actual workflow of reading cases and working with our attendings and learning. The faculty's always there. There's always people in-house or just a short text away um, that are either more than happy to help out with the volume of cases or to just go over cases, teach something new. You know, doing your intern year here in um, medicine, you get to know a lot of your peers, uh, which is great because when you're on the other side of the phone for radiology, uh, you know, you know who you're talking to, which is always good. The cool thing about this program is they give us a chance to dictate the study by ourselves. I've heard of other programs where uh, the attending's right next to you, over like reading over you, and sometimes even just telling you exactly what to say. But we get a lot of opportunity to get our feet in the sand. But as far as the radiology groups go, uh, we definitely have a very uh, peer-like relationship with our attendings. I think this residency prepares you to be a great radiologist. Um, just the variety of studies we see, um, OSF, St. Francis is a level one trauma. We have all the surgical subspecialties, level one stroke. We have peds, PICU, NICU. So you get to see it all by the time you graduate, which is gonna prepare you well for, you know, practice as an attending. The first thing is probably the camaraderie amongst the residents and the staff. Um, we're a very close-knit group. Uh, traditionally, we've been four residents per year, and we've just recently upgraded to six, which is awesome. From the beginning, I wanted a radiology residency that would give me a chance to uh, start, you know, hit the ground running. You know, you grow really fast here. Uh, you kind of have to because you get a lot of responsibility early on uh, here overnight with call. Um, but you really do grow at a high level pace. Being that smaller size, everyone shares cases and cool um, findings that you know happen on call or throughout the day. This was a program that stood out to me during my application process because it gave me a chance to start call earlier than other programs. It gave me a chance to um, moonlight on the side. It gave me a chance to um, have a greater level of autonomy and independence in the actual education process and learning my own style and giving me freedom to explore topics as I want to. Radiology is a little different. You know, we do have a few training things here. Uh, we have an ultrasound mannequin that we're able to come in and um, it can load a bunch of different cases. Uh, we can go through an ultrasound uh, and try and find, you know, what's going on. So it helps us with the hands-on training for ultrasound before we go and see patients. And then in radiology residency, I remember my first week of ultrasound training, I got to come here and use a ultrasound simulator and practice scanning internal organs. And that was really cool to get my hand on the probe and practice in, in a quiet place all by myself. So we see everything, you know, being a level one trauma center as well as being a, a highest stroke certification center, you know, we get, we get everything. I think we're a large tertiary hospital, so we get anything from, I think, Iowa City to Indianapolis to Chicago to Southern Illinois. You know, we really are the only thing in between St. Louis and Chicago, so we have a, quite a large range. Um, so we're seeing everything from the, you know, high level traumas, high level strokes to also, also the diverse pathology that you might get on the sort of more rural areas that we cover a lot of as well. I really enjoy Peoria. Peoria is kind of a mid-sized town. Um, you can get everywhere in 10, 15 minutes, which I really enjoy. There's a lot of family things to do. Like my family has a pass to the zoo. We have a pass to a rock climbing gym. We have a pass to the museum, the children's museum. My 
favorite part about Peoria is probably the low cost of living. Uh, my wife and I were able to purchase a townhome, which has been great and a fun hobby for us to do renovations and kind of use that as a de-stressor throughout residency. So we stay busy anyways, but Peoria gives us a happy way to have variety and fun as a small family, yeah.